Hey guys, what's up? Today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get X-Patter for Windows 7. This is usable for, uh, it's pretty useful for Steam games, Counter-Strike, Gary's Mod, Left 4 Dead, stuff like that. So, uh, for this video I will be using X-Patter. As you can see I have it running right down here. Uh, just kind of set the mood for this video. So, I decided I was going to use it. So, first of all you're going to come to your Internet Explorer. And... You're going to copy and paste the link that you will get in the description. And you're going to get xpatter7.exe. The 7 stands for Windows 7. It's kind of telling you. So then you wait for that, and you download it. Since I have it here on my desktop, as you can see, I have Xpatter 7. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and open it. I'll show you, and uh, now I'll show you how to set up your controls. As you can see, I have my controls all set up. As you can see, they're all workable. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do this yourself. So, right here, I have to stop. Okay, now, click here to new. Okay, now you should get this page here. Uh, this is a bit simple. Uh, go to image and you can get a controller image just to make it a little bit cooler, but I don't have time for that. Uh, first you're going to come to stick one, you're going to hit enable. And then you're going to detect all of the buttons. So go around like that. And make sure that your inverted axis is off. Detect all your buttons again. that it is on X axis. Okay. Now that you've done that, you're going to come over to your stick 2, enable it, go to your stick 2, and it asks you to do left, so put your thing left, up, and there you go. Now you have your triggers. As you can see, my triggers are all set. Uh, you just look at your controller and kind of, you know, guesstimate where your triggers are. Okay, now you're going to take this one probably right around here. Here. Go to D-pad. Enable D-pad. Up, down, left, right. There you go. Now that you have that, come over here to buttons, and then you're going to start clicking on your buttons A, X, Y, B. Now locate your buttons. Maybe this is button A. And as you can see, A, B, Y, X. Now press the back button and drag that up here. The start button up here. The middle button doesn't work. See, I'm pressing the middle button. Okay. Bumper. Could be useful for the reload setting. Go to triggers, enable the triggers. Trigger this trigger. Now you got your triggers inverted. When it tells you to go, when the arrow is pointing to the left, you're going to pull on the left trigger. When the trigger is going to the right, you pull on the right trigger. So that you 
get your trigger set up perfectly. Once you have all that and you have check it, left trigger, right trigger, back, start, uh, analogs, D pad up, D pad down, D pad left, D pad right, A, X, Y, B, uh, right bumper, left bumper, and once you have that, go ahead and hit finish. close. Now you got it all set up. Now make sure that you save this and it's going to be two for me. Hit OK. Now you're going to set your bumper. Or your, not just your bumpers, your triggers. So for reload I usually am going to use this bumper for my reload. This analog will be for the walking motions. S. If we're talking on Gary's mod, I'm going to have X. If we're talking on Counter Strike, I'm going to have K. And then these are going to be F3 for choosing my zombie because I do play a lot of zombies. And it should also be, let's see here, <laughs> checking the score. This one will be for, uh, I don't know, find that out later. I know this one's going to be for my escape. Okay, now you have this analog, this will be the walking. Now this one for me, I usually do the arrows. A is usually jump for me. Y is usually switching weapons. And find those out later. This trigger is usually the first right click, and this one is the left click for me. So it's kind of backwards, you know? And this bumper, I'm not sure what I use this bumper for. Uh, I usually use that for grenades, but uh, there is no special grenade in the games that I play now. I actually think that this should be for the scoreboard, but you know. Let's see, what else do we have? Q, we need Q for Gary's mod and... What else do we need? Let's see here. Hmm. I guess that could be good. For me, that's good enough. Okay. Go ahead and click Save As. Overwrite it. Now. Now that you have all that done, you have it completed. Now all you do is you shrink it, and look, it is usable. Uh, if you made a mistake or something, if it's not working, if you can't move it with the controller, uh, oh yes, and I have to mention something, guys, I'm sorry I didn't mention this at the beginning, uh, I'll probably put a little post-it. Uh, you do need your controller plugged in before that you do this. You need your controller plugged in before you do this. If you already created your settings, uh, you are definitely going to have to have your controller plugged in. You're going to have to restart, guys. I'm sorry. I did not mention that. But, yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video, and uh, hopefully this helped you. But, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.